Just a few days now until the Troy Trojans take on the Nevada Wolf Pack at Troy University's first home game. And to ensure fans are cheering loud for the team, the school is making sure spectators have the best experience possible. Our Julia Avent has the inside scoop for what's new for students and fans. If you're coming to the vet this football season, expect to see new things on and off the field. We have the student athletes, we have great facilities, we have a great schedule. And now an even greater experience. Fans requests have been heard and the university is giving them what they want to keep fans coming back for more. And so the last two years we sold the most tickets that we've ever had. We've had the best attendance that we've ever had the last two years. So after every single game, we send out a fan survey. We, we listen to them. For fans 21 and older, Tailgate Terrace will have a beer zone with the newly released Trojan Ale. Eight food trucks will line the terrace along with pregame concerts before every home game. And for the younger fans, there's something for them too. You have a fan zone and this is where people can come drop off their kids from ages 4 through 12. We have tons of different inflatables. It's confined inside Riddle Pace Field in the outfield, so it's very safe. The fun continues inside the stadium with new music, new promotionals, and fourth quarter fireworks are back to keep the spirit up for this season. Our students bring the energy, our students bring the fun, but uh, season ticket holders and single game uh, holders are the lifeblood of our program. And as for current Trojans, they're excited for old and new traditions. I've never been to a Troy game, so I'm just excited to uh, see the band. I'm most excited for getting ready for the games with my friends. I'm really excited to see how the new coach and the new team does. In Troy, I'm Julia Avan, WSFA 12 News. Saturday's game will also welcome Tailgate College Band, um, Talladega College Band, where they will take on the Sound of the South and the Battle of the Bands. If you can't make it in person, you can watch live on ESPN+. Plus.